This is Grouper Training for Developers and Architects, Web Services Part 1. I'm Chris Heiser from Internet2 and University of Pennsylvania. We are going to introduce the topic, talk about which operations are available, um, the SOAP and REST-like um, flavors of web services, and which data formats are available for the REST-like web services. So Grouper API is the core of Grouper in the middle, and Web Services uses the API to expose um, SOAP and REST-like um, operations to um, remote clients. There are a lot of operations exposed over Web Services. You can find groups by certain criteria. You can get the members of, of a group. Um, or see if a subject is a member of a group. You can add or delete um, members um, from a group. You can create, edit, or delete groups. You can get the membership of a group. You can get a subject's privileges. Um, for example, if they can read memberships on a group or create in a folder. You can assign or remove um, grouper privileges. You can look up subjects based on criteria or search searches. You can um, have a subject change its uh, subject ID if, if an ID changes in the identity management system. You can find a folder or a stem. Uh, stem is another word for folder um, by certain criteria. You can create or remove folders. You can do some operations on the new attribute framework. You can um, get attributes that an object has. You, you can assign or remove attributes. You can find permissions based on um, certain criteria, permission assignments. You can assign or remove permissions. And then for attribute or permission names, which are the parts of the attribute or permission that are assigned to objects, you can find, create, or delete those. And then you can manipulate the permission inheritance, which is which permissions um, uh, imply other permissions. Grouper Web Services has SOAP or REST-like web services. Um, basically, if the registry is here, the Grouper API is the Java code that talks to the registry. And the Grouper web service logic is written on top of the Grouper API, and it runs in a servlet container. So the Grouper web service logic is based on simple Java beans, which are structs in Java. Um, that are the input and the output of an operation. So it's sort of like a RPC type model where uh, it's just uh, like a procedure call that takes a struct and returns a struct. And these simple structs only have strings or character base uh, fields or fields which are Java beans or structs inside or they could have arrays of strings or Java beans. And those structures are what are going to make up um, what's possible to send to or get from the um, web services. So based on those operations and logic, um, you could have a light um, operation or a batched for the same operation. Um, so a light is basically um, a very simple form of that operation that only takes inputs of some strings and no fields with their, which are Java beans or arrays. So um, the REST-like light operations can operate um, with HTTP params because it's just basically a map of inputs. Of uh, It's a list of uh, named base strings. The result of light operations do have some uh, more complex data structures because it's a little bit more in 
involved to return the answer to the operation sometimes. Um, on top of the light versus batched, there's versioning, which takes those Java bean structs and has a version of them for every version of Grouper Web Services. And this um, is what makes Grouper Web Services fully backwards compatible with all old versions. So if someone writes a web service client against version X and version Y comes out, that client written in version X will still work, which makes uh, upgrades less risky. Um, and then on top of the versioning, you can either have um, REST-like um, data format or a SOAP data format. And um, if you are using the REST-like, the um, structs or Java beans can be represented as JSON, XML, or XHTML. SOAP obviously uses XML for the body of the messages. Um, and you can use WSR security as well. Um, there are separate WSDLs for past versions of the web service, so clients can dial into a specific WSDL. And as um, operations change in versions of Grouper, the WSDLs will be backwards compatible for that version. So if a dot release comes out with a, um, in a Grouper version, and something has changed in the WSDL, it'll be backwards compatible. So it'll only be something on the input which will still allow um, existing um, clients to operate. For instance, just add a, uh, add a field on the, on the input, but not on what's returned. Um, this is implemented with Java Access 2 um, library. The rest like, the operations are exactly like the SOAP operations. Um, as you can see from the diagram before. So it's, uh, it's an RPC-based um, service, and RPC is not strict RESTful. So the URLs or the operations are not the nouns, generally, um, although there are some uh, ways to express the, uh, the operations so that it is more noun-like, um, but in general, uh, it's similar to the SOAP. And it does use the HTTP methods, get, post, put, delete, like RESTful, though the URLs aren't really nouns. Um, and some of the things in Grouper, like subjects, have composite keys, source ID and subject ID, which makes it hard to do a um, URL-based um, scheme. And objects also have multiple lookup methods. You can refer to groups by IDs or by name. Uh, for instance, and uh, and other things, um, which again doesn't really fit into the the RESTful model as well. Um, so the REST-like um, data formats, you can have uh, JSON, which is the default in 2.1.1. You can have XML, XHTML, or HTTP post params um, for input only. So the HTTP post params would come on the input to the web service, and then either JSON, XML, or XHTML will be returned based on what the client um, requests. In the um, subsequent parts of the web service for developers training, we'll cover more about the web services. Until then, click on the quiz link in the video description to reinforce your knowledge of this topic. And feel free to check out the wiki mailing lists um, demo server, etc. Um, to learn more about web services. Thank you.